Schmodown, another round one match. Who is it this time? Brian Chandler versus uh, Clark Wolf. Oh yeah, Wolf's got this easy. I think I got spoiled on who wins, so I think um, but I don't know who. I don't know the questions. So, so you watched it? No, I didn't watch it. <laughs> I I was on Facebook and uh, someone just said something. I'm like, what? So you telling me Clark Wolf loses? No, I don't I'd know. I lose all respect if Clark Wolf loses. I don't know if she loses, but uh, I'm just saying. I think I know who wins, but you never know. Let's we'll, we'll just watch it. All right. I'm going to Clark Wolf, but you know. All right. because you've turned us down, you're sugar, we're spice. I think it would have been a really good combination. No, it's it's very it's very nice of you guys to ask and flatter, but I just I'm I'm on my own, I'm independent and I don't really want to join the misfits right now. Well that's a big mistake. Because I'm gonna be taking you down in the Schmodown, Ultimate Schmodown. Oh, you're not here, yeah. just me. <laughs> Hi ladies. Well, From below? Yes. I, you, you have a plan, but if you know anything about me, Brian, you should know that I always prepare. Ladies? Oh! Oh! Hi, <laughs> Brittany. Oh. Brittany, oh. hello. From oh. Dove. Hello. 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 hello down. Sure. I think I'm right. Ugh, I'm going to feel you're like right. an idiot if I'm not. Joel Edgerton. See our reaction. And your winner! <laughs> It sucks. <laughs> it's about to I don't even remember. <laughs> I lost a lot of that just in between those things. <laughs> She's turning, she's turning on this movie, turning on her for answering the, the frozen question. Brienne, as you can see, is pissed, and nobody gives you a dangerous experience. Yeah, she's upset. So I'm putting the lead on notice again. Brienne, are you excited about your match coming up with Clark Wolf? To be quite honest, I don't give a fuck. So, because he's always like, about certain things. It's never fun to play when you're coming off of a loss, but I think that um, I'm ready to jump into the singles tournament for right now, and um, and this will be a good first match. So hopefully I'll stick it out, and um, and it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So I fell asleep on the base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you get a chance to face Miss Movies with a lot on the line. Uh, how do you feel about her early on? I think that she has proved. She's marked her place in the league. Um, she, you know, I think she could. She Poor hasn't Morgan. maybe won as much as she would like to, <laughs> oh. but she's definitely a presence, and she's definitely carving out her place. Yeah. Um, and also, I don't. Though. I don't take anybody for granted. Nobody, <laughs> never. Right. My mindset about From Clark Sean in this Dan. match. Uh, well, this will be the third time that I faced Clark. I faced her in teams and oh, yeah, low down, them. which we <laughs> lost basically because I didn't have someone that third was the computer on my team. Respect for. I do. You know, there's a. Now I think she's, she's gonna win because you. Actually, I respect for in this game. In this game. Too Clark, stupid. Rachel, all the what? Be on Facebook? My thought is. I can stay on Facebook for a time. No, I was just saying it'd be stupid all if she wins. Underestimated me this entire time, and I'm gonna prove it to you that you shouldn't underestimate me. Wolf. Woo. Jiggler. Wow, wow, 
You guys are real quiet for some reason. Why are they so quiet? I don't know. Clark Wolf is a staple, an absolute staple of the Schmodown. Last year's Rookie of the Year. She has been to the Big Dance twice. She um, played against Dan Merle when Dan Merle was the champion. She um, had a chance against the Patriots with her former teammate Mark Riley. And she is in this tournament again because she wants to get another crack. And I would be honored to play Clark Wolf at the Spectacular, but we'll see because Brienne Chandler, not an easy uh, opponent here. No, I think Miss Move, which she's also known, has been known professionally for a long time, really just kind of just shot to the top with a change in approach, a change in uh, attitude, quite frankly, and just has been on fire. Just That's not about wins and losses also. You're going to win some, you're going to lose some. It is about the way she approaches this game. It has got people talking. Yeah, it absolutely has. And I think that that's what she did so well, is that she came in here for the first time with Stacey Howard, and it was... It was a nice entrance here when they came in from, from Greece, but it was that switch. It was when she came in as the bride uh, for Kill Bill, and something just snapped at her. She started screaming at that. She, she then joined up with Jay Washington, and her whole attitude just completely changed. And the way she's approached this thing has been something fun to watch. Um, this is going to be very different the way we watch both Brienne and Clark actually talk to one another, because as we know that Brienne has put together entrances that have been very flashy, but she did something else. So we're going to show you first Brienne Chandler and how she's approaching this match. Right. I saw that Brienne turn heel, so then I turned heel. Brienne was in Playboy once, fully clothed. Brienne is flawless. I hear that Brienne does car commercials in Japan. I hear Brienne has all of her entrances choreographed by Beyonce. If the slowdown was Us Weekly, Brienne would always be able to come. One time, uh, Brienne punched me in the face. She punches like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A uh, little uh, mean girl style. Oh, yeah. yeah so I get that. I see you. And she I actually put that together well, so that was a very interesting piece that she put. But now we're going to go right back to the classy one herself, Clark Wolf, who has a few words uh, for Brienne. Here we go. Well, here we are. Another tournament. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Don't know, choke this out. Myself for the singles. <laughs> like the last year. Remembering my Wolves of Steel partner. Um, and I'm ready, you know, I, I didn't have a great kickoff to the tournament last year, um, which as you all know is yeah. one of my sore spots in my singles uh, record. And so I, uh, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to come out swinging this time. I am certainly not a heel, and uh, Brienne is certainly uh, uh, warmed up to that character and that role, so that's good. Um, you know, I'm not intimidated by this stuff. I, I played, you know, JTE, I played Finstock, uh, you know, both. So, I, you know, being a heel doesn't, doesn't make me nervous. Brienne and uh, Stacy reached out to me about joining their faction, and I politely declined. And uh, while I'm certainly not going to be taking any of that into this match, I have a feeling that she probably will be. Um, and so if nothing else, that'll keep it interesting. Hey, Brienne. Uh, good luck. You dig it, sucker! Hey guys, Reality and Wrestling. WWE Hall of Famer Keith. Now they're both English. They got back here on the slowdown. Is this week's still in single tournament, guys? We have a facing off. Yeah, hold up on this podcast. has been building to this point right here, guys. We have Miss Movies, Brienne. Chandler, she's one and one, and guys, she has been studying, she has been training, working on her playbook for this very moment. But the problem is, guys, she's taking on a legend in classy Clark Wolf, a woman who has paved the way for all women here on the slowdown. No stranger to the tournament. She's danced her way to the title picture twice. But you know, man, she's down 
Oh, oh, crowd, that thing is the classic Clark Wolf can hit horror and drama. Oh, it's gonna be a short night nice. for Miss Movies. Let's get some straight, guys. I like Miss Movies. She's been doing a great job. But as far as this week on the Smokedown, I gotta go with classic Clark Wolf. And guys, it's gonna be relatively easy. Now, can you dig <laughs> that? Hey, guys, make sure you check out. Reality of Wrestling, each and every week we download new episodes on our new streaming network that we're going with. Fight TV, guys. Download the Fight TV app. That's F-I-T-E. Download the app. Do it now. i do it for you. See you guys here on the Slowdown. Sucker. That's what we expect to get from Clark Wolf, and that's just yeah, because she over. is here. She's on her own now. She's still honoring the, the Wolves of Steel yeah. with, with the shirt, but she is here now to play. Did you know that? She yeah. had a very, and again, Clark and I are, are pretty uh, good friends, and I know that when she lost to Josh McCuga last year, I got a lot of phone calls. Uh, yeah. Because, to her credit, the question that she got last year, the answer five Guardians of the Galaxy, we changed the rule after that. We yeah. changed the rule to make sure that, that there's, you gotta give people a little leeway, but it's, yeah, that's, that's how long Clark's been a part of this yeah. to helping to help that's build it all. Yeah, the league, the league evolves, and that's a yeah. sign of a good league, if yeah. I may so sorry. That's why I said that. that we, you know, things like that are gonna happen, but she also so is gonna fun. overcome like yeah. you know, those type of things too. That's how strong of a player she Look, Clark got here because she beat Mark Ellis, hey. who was the, the, he won the whole damn thing last year. So um, let's see what the hell can happen. She has a really good spot here. Brianne Chandler could really shock up and break up some uh, some brackets here if she can defeat Clark. So we're ready to go. Let's get that tail of the tail. All right, we start with classy Clark. Uh, oh, there we go. What, yeah. what do you you got you got a competitor coming out? What are you doing here? You can stay right. Uh, Boo yourself. I would like to make a announcement before oh, this great. this slaughter happens before okay. my future champion comes out. Well, that's not uh, very nice to say. That's that's right. Right. You two can be quiet. All right. uh, I would like to let you know that first and foremost. Clark Wolf made a critical mistake in oh, life. Okay. We opened up the doors of fellowship to join the misfits, and she said no. Now she has to find out the hard way, okay? Now she has to get defeated and taken out of the tournament so you can get more phone calls and people can say, why is this why in an enemy? <laughs> and it won't happen and it won't matter. Okay. But the fact of the matter is this. Once Brienne beats Clark, She's gonna run through this tournament, okay? You said you saw a new Brienne, a feisty Brienne, a mean girl's Brienne. It's nothing compared to what you about to see right now. And Mr. Knapsack, Mr. Harloff, there's only two things the two of you can do about it, and that's nothing, and deal with it. Damn it. I mean, I mean, that's quite, sounds like the words my mother used to tell me as a child. <laughs> <laughs> you can say anything you want about David Washington good on the mic. Uh, he represents his team very well, um, yeah. but he's also gets very angry every time they lose. Yeah. So I wonder if, if <laughs> we're going to see a happy taunting Jay Washington or we're going to see an angry whiny Jay Washington afterwards. We're going to find out. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm ready to go. Can you tell me tell the tape? Uh, yeah, the real tale of the tape where I, I can complete a Clark Wolf. We know her strengths are horror thriller, Sandra Bullock, Sandy Bullock movies, and the classics Oscars. She is a well-rounded movie fan as well. This movie's Brie and Chandler musicals, rom-coms, dance movies. We know that's her strength oh, in God, life and in the movie Man, that was terrible. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, all oh, horrible oh, categories. Oh, Something oh, don't get any of their strengths. <laughs> Yeah, remember, uh, six degrees that fancy side fly got the hell. It's better than the glass. Three rounds in the ultimate Schmodown singles division. Introducing first. I'm a little ahead of myself. Greetings all the boys to the yard. You better like. Jeremy Jones, alright? I miss him already. Alright, 
Emmett Daniel Griffin. Daniel Griffin. We got a job at IGN. Can't blame him. <laughs> Like this, get eight questions. Worth one. Hey, the squish are on point. Their time, they show their whiteboard to the camera and say it at the same time. I have the power! Rules. There's a challenge rule that you need those. Emails. Alright, Clark Wolf, are you ready? Are you ready? I am. So let's get ready to showdown! Question number one comes to you from the world of animated. Ooh. Animated. Who provided the voice of the cowardly orange tabby cat in the American I Tale? Hate this movie. I've never <laughs> seen it. Uh, no. We got like ten questions <laughs> on this damn movie. Who made of cheese? How many times have you seen that one? What you got in this movie? I don't even know the cat talked in those movies. Don't only say like five. Uh, little ball cat. Four, four, little bitty. Three. Two, one, pass down. Oh, Billy. Billy Joel? Incorrect. Right. Brianna? No clue. <laughs> Dom Deluise. Of course. Okay, so nobody gets that. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Question, nobody knows. Question two, category comedies. Oh. Stanley Tucci plays art director Nigel Kipling in which Anne Hathaway movie? I would have definitely got this one, yeah. Put it in two for two right now. Really? Yeah. This, they, you know, this was the movie I was thinking about. Right. On yeah. the last question. <gasps> oh! No, I don't know. That was our three last three. match. The Devil Wears Prada. Yep, correct. Right. The Devil Wears Prada. Uh, 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 try again. Try again. One one. Wolf and Chandler going head to head. Next one. Dramas. Who plays composer and high school music teacher Glenn Holland in Mr. Holland's oh, Opus? Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of Mr. Holland's right, Opus. Like a spade. Would you got this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did we do? Nine, five, four, three, two, one. Clark Wolf. Richard Dreyfuss. Correct. Yeah. Richard Dreyfuss. There you go. Let's do it. All right. Look at the misfits here. Really cheering on their uh, yeah. night. All right. Question four. Category is horror thriller. Horror thriller. What actress plays Claire Spencer? Who has a seemingly idyllic marriage to Harrison Ford in What Lies Beneath? I watched this movie with my grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was good. He's up too. I was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I got that bad. Oh, I got that bad. Five, four, three, two, one. I would have not remembered her name. Pass down, please. And. I don't know how to spell her last name, but Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer. It's Dan, you lucky right? bastard. Yeah, I'm just throwing it around. Yeah, so I was like, Michelle Pfeiffer? I'm surprised I got that. <laughs> romance. Romance is our next category here. What Hollywood icon played Jay Gatsby in the 1974 romantic drama? I played him in the remake. Mr. Leonardo DiCaprio. Marker is uh, not wrapping up as easy as the Four. other. Three. Don't like it. Don't like it. One pens down, please, and Robert Redford. That's correct. Robert, yeah. Robert Redford. There you go. Yeah. Four. Four. Five. Four. 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 Question Four. six. Category is yeah. war film. War film. What 2012 war film was notable for using active oh. duty U.S. Navy I remember seals the movie. in the I can't remember the name, though. I've seen it. Well, since I saw it in theaters. Yeah. It's not going yeah. good. Yeah, it's got all. Five, four, three, two, 
more hands down, please, for your channel. Is it Lone Survivor? That's incorrect. Yeah. Mark? American Sniper? Incorrect. Oh. Oh. Act of Valor. Act of Valor. What the hell is that? For your order? Next one. Next one. All right, we're kidding. I heard that. I heard it. Your order. Category of Action Adventure. Action Adventure. Who directed Fast and Furious, Fast Five, and Fast and Furious Six? Also directed. Aquaman! I was gonna direct the number two already. They're both coming after him. Just got me a Fast and Furious Hulk. Hulk. Can you repeat the question? Yep. Who directed Fast and Furious? Fast 5 and Fast and Furious 6. Yeah, no. Push back, but one that Justin Lin's gonna direct because of scheduling conflicts. I already see the Hulk movie when they're Fast and Furious. Justin Lin? That is correct. Yeah, I said Justin Lin. Oh! Okay. Alright, what a game here. Okay. Last question. Last question. Question eight. Category is fantasy sci-fi. Who plays Jedi Master Qui Gon Jinn in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace? Be one of the easiest questions of all time. <laughs> Three, two, one. Clark Wolf. Liam Neeson. Correct, Brian. Liam Neeson. Yeah. Yeah. Six, six, six ticks. So we missed. We only missed two. And Number two, and it works like this. Easy, more powerful than you. Will spin the wheel. It lands on a category they don't like. The article somebody is saying Qui Gon is the most powerful. Each question is worth two points. Well, he was the first Jedi to ever to solve the death. They say he's one. They say he's wiser than most of them. I'm the first. All right, Clark Wolf getting in there. Clark's on a mission right now. It's just considered a radical by the Jedi Council. So much better first round. Left out to it. All right. We can do it out of two behind the spin there. Oh, there we go. Tom Hanks. Um. No. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Yeah, I'll stick with it. You stick with it. All right. Tom Hanks movies. Tom Hanks. All right. Here we go. Um. All right, Clark. Four questions in the world of Tom Hanks movies. Okay. Clark, in which movie did Bruce Willis co-star with Tom Hanks? They co-star? <laughs> what movie are you right now? Is it A, Saving Private Ryan, B, Nothing in Common, C, The Green Mile, D, Bonfire or Bonfire of the One point one. Clark Wolf. All right. And question number two here. Like the Green Mile. Kate Belushi co-starred with Tom Hanks in which movie? God damn it. Drive net. Is it bachelor party? One red shoe. That's a big one. Shoe. All right. The man with one red Who shoe. Who played Miguel Alvarez in Philadelphia? Antonio Banderas. Two points. Two points. Two points. All right. And Frank Darrell directed Tom Hanks in which? The Green Mile. Two more points there for Clark. Right. 11 6 to a five point lead on Green Mile. I did. I knew it. Green Mile. Everyone was up. Oh, okay. There's the spin. The spin. This is a great match so far, Kyle. Like nice. It's back and forth, back and forth. Pixar. 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 Yes. Spin again. I think I'll do it. Oh. I'll do it. You think? I'll do it. Alright. That was a tight though. Four questions. Four questions in the world. Four questions. First one. In Ratatouille, how does Remy control Linguini's cooking? He pulls his hair. That's correct. Two Pulling points. hair! All right. What was the Doberman Pinscher's leader's name in Up? Let's go multiple choice. All right, multiple choice coming in. You have got A, Alpha, B, Razor, C, number one, D, Jock. That is correct. Yeah, well, it's it's right. Right. <laughs> Can't hold the All right. <laughs> Alpha. What sitcom actor voices Molt, Hopper's dim-witted brother in A Bug's Life and Bing Bong in Inside Out? Multiple choice. A. Paul Reiser. B. Richard Kind. C. Barry Bostwick. D. Patrick Warburton. Richard Kind. That's correct okay. for Paul. All right. All right. All right. Final question coming in here. 
What kind of dinosaurs were the cattle rustlers in The Good Dinosaur? God, A. Dilophosaurus. B. Tyrannosaurus. C. Triceratops. That's C. Both. Velociraptors. Can you repeat the whole question, including multiple choices, please? Sure can. Your second one, but that is good. What kind of dinosaurs were the cattle rustlers in The Good Dinosaur? A. Dilophosaurus. B. Tyrannosaurus. C. Triceratops. D. Velociraptors. I'm going to go with Tyrannosaurus. That's incorrect. Triceratops? Incorrect. Velociraptor. All right. Oh, so, big so, round one oh. point. One point <laughs> separates Brienne. I ran towards the end. Round number three. 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 And it was the raptors who were the cattle ranchers, not the T-Rexes. Six, what were the T-Rexes in? Seven, 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 I thought they were they the were ranchers. They were just like the, the traveling people, the cattle ranchers. I thought they were ranchers. You chose number six, that is category time. famous actors and actresses. Two point question. Name the two actresses to star as Sarah Connor on the big screen Terminator movies. Amelia Clark. That's correct for two points. Amelia Carter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Category number four for your first question. Yeah. Yeah. Category here. Yeah. 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 And that's category of Disney. Disney movies. All right. Clark, because. according to a song from the film, which Disney character went oh, from zero oh. to hero? <laughs> two points. Um, two back to Brianne Chandler here with the zero to hero. All right, all right. Three point question. You chose number ten. That is category of horror thriller. Horror thriller. What's the name of Jason Voorhees' mother? Fuck. Pamela Voorhees. That is correct for three wow. points. Oh, what was that? Sure. Now we bounce back to Clark Wolf for her three pointer, and Clark Wolf has number twelve, which is Oscar movies. Oscar movies, yes. Clark. What film starring Charlton Heston won Best Picture? The Ten Commandments. <laughs> Damn, so close. Now, so close. Mark Wolf has Spartacus. a five pointer. If she hits the five, it bounces back to Brianne Chandler, who will be forced to hit her five. If Clark misses, Brianne Chandler will advance. Here we go, Clark. You chose category Level. number nineteen, right here. and you chose holiday movies. Oh God! Holiday movies. All right, Clark. Name one of the two performers who played bickering spouses taken hostage by Dennis Leary on Christmas Eve in nineteen ninety four's The Ref. Kevin Spacey. There you go. Yes. All right, so Clark Wolf now has forced Brianne Chandler to hit the five pointer. All Clark can do is hope Brienne misses because Brienne now has the five point here. Ken, what do we got? All right, you chose number 17, Brienne. That is the category of movie characters. In what film will you find Jack Black playing the energetic Dewey Finn? Wow, come on. School of Rock? Bye. Yeah, you're a winner! I don't know if that's Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> Brady Cage returns to the top! <laughs> you had gotten that and I got it. They were all good. I had that time. No. That's how I knew. As soon as uh, Clark Wolf got it, I was like, well, uh, Brady is going to win. Because I saw him on Facebook says, that was an easy uh, five pointer by Brady and Chandler. And I was like, well, fuck, that probably means she wins. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Yeah, you know, that's School of Rock. Back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. That's what you want in tournament action. I mean, some big stuff. Yeah, wow. Right. 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 Shocking, shocking, shocking uh, turn of events here. We're going to talk to uh, Jen Sturge. I'm shocked, and uh, yeah. I'm at a loss for words right now. That was a really Damn it. That was a I can't believe Clark Wolf's lost. Back and forth. Sucks. You got a lot. Talk to Jen Sturge. It's part of the game, though. 
What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I'm Jen Sturger here with Brianne Chan. We get a rematch between uh, so Brianne and uh, Mr. Washington. Great to see you. I'm so happy to be here. We told Clark, a legend in this game, we gave her a golden opportunity to join us. She spurned us, and then she spurned to you. become. Dismissed. Now, Brianne is spurned. You go further in the Snowball's tournament, and next, what's happening after that? We get to have Stacy crush some baby carrots. Some classes, I'm gonna do some shopping. You know, coming no. out earlier, and I guarantee <laughs> next week would be Clark. I guarantee Stacy will be Mark. Do you understand? And now you have. So, like, you're a prophet or something? Glorious. Um, <laughs> now. <laughs> Now, you have the next round, and guess who's in the burn book for your um, next round? My next round, I'm going to be facing Mike Kalinowski, <laughs> also known as Homecoming King of Vanilla High School. Which means he has zero flavor, bland, and it was just as bland as the, the mistake beating that happened when you DC Movie News beat Six Degrees in a team tournament. We and guess what? Talk about. We don't. That's what I said. Just a mistake. It was a fluke. But guess what? Retribution is a beautiful and sweet thing that is about to happen. Now we have you going on further and further. And Stacy comes along. The only thing I hope and I don't want to see is you two have to compete against each other. Because then that would hurt my heart in the finals. But either way it goes. I didn't like that. It would hurt that one of the misfits who comes the winner of the tournament. One, 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 one three in a row. It's, like it's a win-win. It's a win-win situation. Fuck this game. Stop. It's like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Pixar's there, man. Yeah, that was a wonderful <laughs> match. Thank you, Mr. Washington, as usual. How are you feeling? I'm Thought I'd get any of those fucking Tom Hanks questions. Uh, that's shocked, the worst. I will say, because yeah, Clark well. is a legend in this in this league, and it's it's pretty great to take down the legend, but also respect to the legend, even though I rarely respect people. Now, you are going to have a tough match coming up. You're going to be facing your... I mean, is he your arch nemesis at this point, Ma Mike? I don't know if he's my arch nemesis, but he's uh, apparently the only other person in this league aside from Clark. So it, that's the only person I'm going to be facing probably <laughs> the rest of my life on this league. Uh, oh, Joker to his Batman. Well, we can't wait to see what's next. Brian, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, guys, I'm here with Clark. Once again, Clark, I'll have the first round. That was a trail. tough match all the way up to the God end. Damn. He had to have been BTC, BTC. shaking the booth. It's only had four in the time. time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, certainly you don't like to get to the final round and being have it be that close. Certainly you like to put a couple more points on the board and a little bit of space in between. Um, but that just didn't happen uh, in rounds two or one and two in this one. So yeah, going into the third round, I like to have a little bit more padding, and uh, just didn't shake out that way. Yeah, you had a solid round one, which even your round two was pretty great, um, even though you went to multiple choice a couple of times. And then you just kind of it just kind of didn't go your way round three. Mm -hmm. What is next for you in this whole tournament? I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm certainly, I'm out of the tournament now, so... Um, are you going to be rooting for Miss Movies now? Or? Um, you know, I'm a good guy, so I'm probably not going to get over on the side of a, of a heel. Uh, but, uh, but you know, I mean, I look, I, uh, I look forward to seeing how it all shakes out. As, you know, as we've seen many, many times before, um, you never know what's going to happen. So now that you're out of the tournament, you know, we've seen you do some announcing lately at the table, which has been wonderful. We've, you know, we've seen other sides of you here. Uh, What's next? Well, that's some shit now. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to oh, stay uh, in. I mean, obviously, it's going to be a good tournament to, to, to finish up before I get another right. crack at it. But, um, you know, I um, I don't think that this loss today was a good, an accurate reflection of how I play as a player. Uh, and I think, um, you know, but that's the name of the game. That's how this goes. So um, I definitely am going to be getting back in there. And, um, you know, maybe even be on the hunt for a new teammate. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that all shakes uh -oh. out. But definitely, I, I loved calling the match. Um, I loved calling Call the right match, all the opportunities that I had to do that. Because I, <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully, uh, if, if all of it works out, um, if I can't be playing in the matches, then I'll be calling. Not everyone can be the wild bird. Wild bird! Nobody yet, but, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. And Thank you. Um, there you go. So look, Jay talking a lot as we as Jay Washington does, calling out uh, everyone. 
It's been a wild tournament. Ready now to be 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 I'm a little easier, but it, but it is what it is. It, it, it ended up where it was. So that's the uh, that's the game we had today. Of course, I mean, even he knew that. Maybe, you know, not the way a lot of people thought it was going to go. <laughs> of course, I think Jack Black's full of rock questions. Hey, Goosebumps, fuck, you get a Jack Black Goosebumps question at this point after they've asked the same question for 15 times. In the tournament, as we keep going on, what do you guys think? Comment. Tell us exactly what you think, and make sure you check out the Movie Trivia Showdown. Facebook page. Check out the Schmodown Rundown on the SK Plus channel, guys. Thank you very much. We will no, thank see you. Next time. Harloff. And you did baby Ray. <laughs> Bring the <Bakuda> back! <laughs> <laughs> well, um. Good match for me. Good match. Pixar. Wrong that Pixar category. I scored 14 points. <laughs> <laughs> 19, sir. You got lucky. Fuck this game! <laughs> Alright, well, uh, until next week. See you later. Adios. Peace out. <laughs>